So in previous video we developed the three, uh, three simultaneous nodal equations. Now I will just uh, write the form uh, in the form so that we can solve them. So this is equation 1 here. So I will rewrite the equation like this. This I had so v1 over r1 minus v2 over r2 and on the right hand side we have i1. So that's i1 there. Now the second one I can write v1 this is negative so let me write v1 first v1 r1 and then v2 I have here I have here I have here so I can write v2 plus v2 1 plus r1 plus 1 plus r2 plus 1 plus r3 like that and finally I have v3 here which is negative v3 over r3 and on the right hand side I have nothing that's 0 and the third equation is this one so I have v2 first one v1 is 0 so v2 I have negative v2 minus r3 uh, over r3 and plus v3 is over r4 and r3 so 1 over r3 plus 1 over r4 and I have this one on the left hand side I will take it on the right hand side and that will be negative i2 so these are the three equations now I have written so that I can write the solutions in determinant form. So for V1 I will write the coefficients. So what I will do I will just write first. So in the denominator I will have this is 1 over R1 the coefficients 1 over R1 the minus 1 over R2. So 1 over R1 minus 1 over R2 and the coefficient of v3 here is 0 so that's 0 now for the second one the coefficient of v1 is 1 over r1 coefficient of v2 is this one which is 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 that one r3 there and the coefficient of v3 is minus 1 over r3 finally the third equation v1 is 0 v2 is 1 over r negative 1 over r3 and the third one is 1 over r3 plus 1 over r4 plus 1 over r4 now on the de denominator so this will be common for all of them for v1 on the numerator sorry the numerator will be the right hand sides so for this side these two will be same so second column and The second and third column will remain the same. So this is R1, R2 plus R3. Um, and this is R3 there. And this is negative 1 over R3, 0 there. Uh, sorry, the first one was 0. Sorry, negative 1 over R3. So it's getting clumsy. And the last one was like that. R3 there. Last one was 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4 the first column will be the right hand side of the of all of the three equations so i1 0 and negative i2 this one will keep changing according to the unknown we are trying to find out so we have arranged the equation like this the first unknown the second and so first unknown second unknown and third un unknown in the first equation the third unknown was 0 in the third equation the first unknown was 0 so that's how the this determinant is from all the coefficients and when we try to find v1 the first column will have the right hand side there like that when we try to find v2 everything will be if it is if it were v2 this uh, column would be here and this one would be here so this column wouldn't change the whole this bunch would be uh, this bunch would be on the second column and when it is v3 it would be on the third column so that's how we do it and if we just solve the determinant we will find the um, find the unknowns so v1 v2 so we will find the node voltages in this case and this is how we do a nodal analysis i will do a problem but i have uh, divided the video in two parts the uh, in theory and 
yeah just so that one video is not too big so yeah